Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you a full review on my new Wayfair sofa that I recently purchased. I am also going to be bringing you along with me while I decorate this space. I'll give you a few updates and I also have a small DIY in store for you guys. So let's jump right in. So this is how my sofa arrived. It came in three different pieces. Everything was wrapped really nicely. It was like triple wrapped, so I had no issues whatsoever with the shipment. Everything was um, in its place. Nothing was damaged, so I was really happy about that. I received several emails up until the day of my shipment, so I was able to track my sofa, and um, I got a phone call 30 minutes before um the delivery guy arrived at my door and everything was really, really nice. So here I am just digging right in. I was so excited to finally receive it. Um, this pretty girl that you see here is actually my cousin who was down for the Easter holiday. She was spending time with me and um, she just so happened to be at my house when this arrived. I was so happy because she was such a huge help. Um, in putting this together and it was so much fun to um, put it together with her but I received this sofa it took me about uh, two and a half weeks from the time that I actually placed the order so it wasn't too bad because like I said I was able to track my um, shipment along the way Wayfair kept sending me emails so um, my overall experience with the shipping was fantastic. I definitely give it a five star out of five star. I had no issues and the delivery, uh, it was two guys. They were both super nice. They left their number behind. They told me to call them um, if anything, if I found any damages or anything to the sofa as I was taking it, um, unwrapping it. So luckily I found no damages and um, I was able to enjoy it and I had no issues with it. But it was nice that I did have a direct point of contact if, if I did need to contact someone. So once we figured all of that out, I um, went ahead and gave my living room a quick vacuum. There was tons of like debris and stuff from uh, the packaging and I finally got to open my beautiful rug, my area rug that I had picked up at Home Goods. I showed you guys a few videos ago. Um, so I'm just rearranging everything, just kind of seeing how I like everything putting out my area rug and um, had a little help from my fur babies as you can see they love 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 when I am decorating and cleaning they are all about it So one of the things that attracted me to this sofa was just like the clean lines that it has. It's very contemporary and I love that it's very modern. It has a really nice like sleek clean look and that's exactly what I was going for. I originally had my eye on a very high end version but this one makes a fantastic dupe and I loved the price. So I always get a lot of questions on how I protect all of my light colored furniture. You guys know I love all of my whites and I use a scotch guard for everything. Um, it helps to repel against any stains, liquids, and it really has worked for so many years for me. You can pick this up at either Lowe's or Home Depot and can also use it on your area rugs. I love that this sofa is really easy to adjust, uh, to move around if you are wanting to vacuum, you know, do any kind of spot cleaning. It easily comes apart, but it also Velcros to the bottom so it doesn't shift while you are lounging on it. 
Another feature that I really liked was that all of the pillows have a zipper underneath so you can easily um, get to the stuffing and take it out and do any kind of spot cleaning if you need to. Now when I read online, the upholstery is actually a polyester microfiber and I like it because it almost feels like it's really easy to clean. Now I haven't had it that long to need to spot clean it, plus I did scotch guard it, but I just love the fact that if I do need to um, remove the stuffing and take it to the sink to give it a quick wipe down, that I can easily do that without having to carry the whole cushion over. It also states online that you are only to spot clean this and not machine wash it. So I highly recommend you guys scotch guarding this material, especially if you're concerned about pets or children or anything like that. Now all of the toss pillows that I am placing on my sofa were not included. They are all from Z Gallery. The only ones that I believe are currently available are the all silver ones. Um, and my throws are also from Z Gallery. I will try to find as much as I can and link everything below in the description box for you guys. They did include four toss pillows. I don't use them to decorate my sofa, but I will put them away and use them somewhere else or for another future project. So moving on to my coffee table styling, I wanted to um, lighten things up a little, just something nice and fresh and clean for spring. I added these beautiful peony tulips. If you guys can get your hands on them, they're just so gorgeous to have. They smell amazing too. Now this little pendant is a item from Michael's Craft Store. I did pick it up in the jewelry section and here I'm just taking that little piece off because typically people use it for necklaces or any kind of um, jewelry making. I am going to hot glue it to the lid of my candle just to kind of glam it up and jazz it up a little bit add my little uh, glamorously living touch so I recommend this DIY if you guys are looking to add something different it really is a big wow factor at such an affordable price it was such a fun DIY and it's so easy they have tons of styles and different colors so you'll definitely find something to um, coordinate with your decor Overall, I really love this sofa. I'm definitely enjoying my purchase. I definitely recommend it if you guys are on the market for something modern and very sleek looking. Now, this is not your traditional sofa, so the height is definitely not your traditional uh, type of sofa. It does sit low, so just keep that in mind. If that's not your thing, this is probably not the sofa for you. Now, if it is and this is what you like, then I definitely um, encourage you to check it out online. I will link this below. You can look at all the reviews and there's even some pictures that people have put just so you can kind of get a visual idea apart from my video, of course. But I hope that you guys have found this review helpful if you guys are on the market for something like this or similar.
So this space is definitely coming along. I love my new additions, my sofa and my area rug, I think make a really nice addition to this space. I still have so much more that I envision for my living room, but I love that I can bring you guys along with me step by step. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. We love having you over here on my channel. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video, the review, and the DIY. If you guys recreate my DIY, make sure that you share with me on Instagram. I love, love to see when you guys recreate my looks. I love sharing your pictures. I just love talking to you guys. And um, I guess I will see you guys on the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.